Hello and welcome back to my channel Asia Programmer. So today I'm gonna solve another competitive level programming competition level question. So what this question is asked, it is just asked as just a factorial. But there is, is a catch in that particular question. There is like an extra long factorial. Can you, if you look at this example, the factorial of 30. So the factorial of 30 can get by multiplying from 30 to 1. And the value of will uh, the answer will come it's so huge that you cannot store in a, any data type of C++ except string or an arrays you cannot store this much big values if you want to store this in an array then you have to store every uh, word every digit in uh, separate indexes if you can store in the string but then how are you gonna multiply it there is gonna be a huge problem of that as well so there is like a note over here which says factorial of n greater than 20 cannot be stored in a 64-bit long long variable which means in C++ you cannot store an integer decimal float in any type they also say big integer can must be used for such calculation easily for Java and Python so for Java Python Ruby languages they can handle big integers but we need to write an additional code for C, C++ to handle these huge values. So the constraint of this question, they can ask of maximum of 100 uh, factorial. They can ask maximum of 1 to 100 factorial, that's it. And we need to store and print that particular value. So let's go and code for it. Let's say we make a value, integer value. That will be the value of which we need to find for the factorial. Okay. Now let's make a vector. Vector. Oh, I have the vector library for you. Vector integer type. I name this vector like a a double r. And what I'm doing there is that I'm assigning the total size of the vector. Let's say 200 indexes. And I'm initializing all the indexes with zero. As you know, that there is like a multiplication. The factor is a multiplication of one to that particular value. So that's why I will just store a of zero is equal to one. That the first index should be one. So if the multiplication occurs, so it will not turn every value to zero. Okay. The next thing we need to do, we need to make a carry integer, which will uh, which will cater the problem of carry. When the value becomes big, it will just shift to other particular indexes. Carry will be equal to 0 at first. We also need to make a carry integer which will in with which we can like check on which index we are on that particular vector. Okay, now we make, need to make a to loop integer i i is equal to 1, i less than equals to value and i plus plus. Okay, now we need to make another loop for integer j will be equal to 0, j less than equal to k, and j plus plus. Okay, what we need to do over here is that we just need to assign array of j will be equals to uh, array of j. Yep, and we need to multiply with the i because i will go from 1 to to till the value so we need to multiply every value with i so so we can get in the end we will get the factorial we need to multiply with the i plus we need to add the carry as well whatever the carry or at that time carry will be equals to array of j modulus yeah then and then array of j will be array of j divided by 10 yep, that will work it's j double r not a a okay fine over here now now we need to do the carry what if the carry comes while well, carry it's mean uh, as soon uh, as long as the carry will be greater than zero this will loop this loop will work so let's say k plus plus first then we need to add ar k will be equals to carry modulus 10 
yep and carry divided by carry divided by equal to 10 we need to divide carry with it so the value of carry will become a bit less so the okay now what we need to do okay we need to print this up okay as you know what we are saving the value in every other index in the next index for example if you say value on, on the zero index then the carry will save on the one index then two then three so what we need to do we need to print that vector opposite from the k to the zero four integer i will be equal to k because the k is getting the check on which index we are right now in that particular vector i greater than or equal to zero and i minus minus i minus minus okay see out array of i yep they should do the work let's run it out okay we need to give like tutorial of five okay it's giving an error it's giving our 250 okay okay yeah 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 that's we need to make this divide by 10 and this should be modulus uh, where is it? okay this will work let's give 5 again yep so what we need to what we change is that the carry will be divided by 10 over here it's not gonna be modulus because modulus is gonna be saved in that particular index in a vector index and carry should be like divided by 10 so the value which is left will be saved in the carry that we just um, did the wrong over there we just need to divide by 10 and then with modulus 10 we need to save in an array of j so it's giving like 5 is 1 uh, 20 uh, factorial let's ask for 7 factorial yeah 5041 okay that's giving an, a right answer let's copy this code and go towards on the editor over here and just paste it we will run on the test cases first to check that it passes the test uh, sample test cases or not okay it passed both of the test sample test cases okay the first sample test case was 25 another was 45 both passed okay let's submit this code and check either they pass all the condition or not there are like 12 test cases okay they are checking hmm. the time waiting for that particular a for that particular purpose is like okay is like a bit of a tension time but yeah we passed all of this yep 12 test cases we passed so have you seen we write a so much code in c plus plus just to make this now let's let me show you how we can do this same particular task in python so the python required this i have already code in python as well so the python require only this code that's it what we need to do we can write again or i will just explain in the first line i will just get the input from the user n in the second line I will just call a function math.factorial and save that particular factorial in n and print it. So in Python we don't need to mention any any data type. It will just work as um, as it is. It will not need we need we don't need to specify any data types. Whatever the data comes, it data types all uh, set it automatically. So if we run this code, this small particular code, it will run it will do it as good as C++ code which we have write. In like over 15 to 25 lines yeah look at this just a three line code and it will pass all of these test cases because python can store a huge value in that particular values in that particular variable and it will not require any any extra data type or anything okay so yeah all the test cases pass just look at that the amount of code we written over here nothing it's like a nothing code so i hope you guys like this video just like and subscribe my channel if you want this code i will also uh, copy this in my drive link my google drive and copy that particular link in the description so you can check this code and if you want to change this code as well you can also change it and modify it if you think this code is like a bit less efficient then you can also tell me what is more efficient you can also share your course with me in the comment box or you can send the link to me personally on the email i will also show the 
share the email with you guys thank you bye bye if you do like and subscribe my channel